All right, we're going to work on example number one, where we use bond energies to determine the heat of reaction for the complete combustion of methane. So we have the complete combustion balanced for methane. We have carbon bonded to hydrogen four times. And these four hydrogen to carbon bonds are going to be broken because they are reactants. So when we are calculating delta H, we have to take into account that we have four moles of carbon to hydrogen bonds, which over here is 413 kilojoules per mole. Next, we have two molecules of oxygen gas. So this is one molecule of oxygen gas, and here's the second. Here we have two oxygen to oxygen bonds. So we will go to our table again, and we'll find oxygen to oxygen, which is 495 kilojoules per mole. So this is the sum of what is broken. We have to subtract this from what is being formed. So we're making one carbon dioxide molecule that looks like this, and we have two moles of carbon to oxygen. So we're going to look again. Carbon to oxygen in CO2 specifically is 799 kilojoules per mole. Plus, we're also forming two water molecules, so we have H2O, which is a bent molecule, two of them. So we actually have four moles of oxygen to hydrogen, which where, when we look it up, is 467 over here. kilojoules per mole. All of our kilojoules per mole are going to cancel out so that we're working with kilojoules. And when we do this calculation, double check, you can pause this video to do all of that, you should get negative 824 oops, kilojoules. Double check and let me know.